Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see how to extract features from text data. So uh, we are going to explore one of the feature extraction uh, technique for the text data uh, that is uh, bag of words. Bag of words is a representation of text that describes the occurrence of words within a document. Within a document means uh, you can consider it as a, a sample or a sentence. Usually we'll be just dealing with a sentence only. So that you can consider as a document and it will just count the number of uh, words occurring in that particular uh, sentence. So that is the feature uh, we are going to use in like bag of words. That's how it works. And uh, here it involves like two things, a vocabulary of known words. So it will just um, have a set of all the words. So it won't have any uh, duplicates. It will just have a set of all the vocabulary available and uh, based on that it will just uh, uh, count the number of words present now uh, let us see this further with the help of an example so for this i'm going to create a new sentence so i'll say text data text data equals a list in the list i'll just uh, create uh, some two to three sentence i'll just say i am interested interested in NLP this is a good tutorial with good topics I'm just getting like different uh, types of data with uh, some uh, repeated words that's why I'm just creating a sentences like this and third one feature extraction is very important important topic maybe i'll just remove an s here so it will have the same word across the sentence as well so this is the text data i'm gonna use let's run this now after that we have to import the module so from sklearn dot feature extraction dot text import count vectorizer so this is the uh, module in order to use the bag of words algorithm so that is called as like count vectorizer only and after this uh, we will just initialize the uh, count vectorizer or you can just say it as like bag of words i'll just say bow so equals count vectorizer of uh, in the parameter, I could just uh, use stop words. So it won't consider uh, stop words. So in the stop words, I'll just pass the language we are using that is English. So this is the initialization step. Run this. Now that we have initialized the count vectorizer, let's uh, fit the data. Fit the data bow dot fit uh, the data is text data run this now we have trained the data let's see uh, the vocabulary or the dictionary get the vocabulary list so i'll just say bow dot get feature names so let's pass this and uh, run this so here you can uh, clearly see um, only important words has been like considered as a features. It didn't uh, consider this I am, this is, ye. All the other uh, punctuations or pronouns, uh, none of them are uh, considered here. Only the important uh, words that is like interested, NLP. Um, I think here even uh, if you say it as like fe feature means it will just automatically convert this as like a lowercase. Uh, I'll just rerun this again. See, even now uh, if you are having um, uh, uppercase or uh, lowercase, it will just convert everything to lowercase for uh, processing. And uh, it also removed this is very all the other things. And you can see good uh, tutorial um, topic and here feature extraction, feature extraction, important and uh, topic is already there. So this is the whole uh, vocabulary we have got. So from this only, it's going to uh, count the number of occurrences. Now let's uh, see 
how it's transformed the data. So we will just transform the data now. I'll just say bow well, features equals bow dot fit transform. Okay, so you what you can do is if you want to just uh, uh, train it and uh, transform it right away means you can use fit transform. But we already done the uh, fitting here. So I'll just transform off, just pass the text data. Now let's display this, run this. Okay, currently it's just a sparse matrix. So you can directly pass this uh, features into the uh, model directly if you want. But if you want to display it uh, with the uh, values or if you want to infer the values means, what you can do is, well, feature, feature array. So I'll just say well, features dot two array, two array, and uh, display the feature array. Now you can uh, clearly uh, see. So we have in the first sentence, I am interested in NLP. So interested is occurring in zero, one, two, three, four fourth index so here uh, similarly 0 1 2 3 4 in the fourth uh, index uh, the the word is occurring and also you can see this nlp so nlp is occurring after that so we have a count of one and uh, in the second we have like good occurring two times so here you can see in the second index it's having good so it's having the count as two so in order to clearly uh, uh, get the uh, actual values, what you can do is first I will print the uh, uh, feature names. I have printed the feature names. Now for I comma J in zip off. Um, I'll just pass the text data and uh, bow feature array. Now let's display this. First, I'm gonna display the text data and uh, then I'm gonna display the feature array. Maybe to have like meaningful uh, variable, I'll just say sentence. And here I'll just call it as feature. So we'll just follow some good uh, practices from now on. So let's run this. Now you can clearly see the uh, feature list. So based on that, uh, we can clearly map the array. So interested is occurring here. So we have like one and good is occurring like two times and good is here. It's in the second index, so it's occurring two times. And apart from that, we have a topic and a tutorial. So both of them are occurring like one time only. And even in the third uh, sentence, uh, we have the words that are occurring only once. So that's why we are getting all these uh, features. So we'll be just passing these arrays as an uh, input feature into the model. So it will process further and trying to, uh, it will try to get the prediction based on this. So if you have uh, so many words means the length of the vocabulary will be uh, increased greatly. So that's why in order to decrease or uh, reduce the length of vocabulary, you, we usually do that uh, stemming or lamentization, all the pre-processing steps will do before this. So this will just greatly reduce the uh, uh, training data we have. So that's pretty much it guys. So this is how bag of words work and you can clearly use this as a uh, feature extraction uh, technique if you are dealing with text data. If you have any queries regarding this, please leave a comment below. I will definitely answer that. And apart from that, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Stay tuned for the next video.